4.2 Irrational Numbers Let's start by going through the different types of numbers. First, we've got natural numbers. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so on. They start from 1 and go up. Whole numbers is our next type of number, and really the only difference between whole numbers and natural numbers is the idea of 0. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so on. Next, let's move into integers. It's just like whole numbers. You've got 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. But now we also go into the negative. So we've got negative 1, negative 2, and so on into the other side. So integers are just like whole numbers, except now you add in the negatives. Next, we move to rational numbers. Rational numbers are just like integers, except now we're going to add in any decimals and fractions. So it can be not just 1, 2, 3. It can be in between 1 and 2. And then we've got rational numbers. I'll describe these in just a minute. Altogether, these are our sets of real numbers. They're the ones we're going to concern ourselves with here. And yes, there is a set of numbers called imaginary numbers. Not our problem right now, though. Okay, let's look at the definition of irrational numbers. There's two conditions that must be met in order for a number to be considered irrational. First, it can't be written as a fraction. Any number that can be written as a fraction is a rational number, not an irrational number. Second condition, if you write an irrational number as a decimal, the decimal never repeats and never terminates. Let me make sure I've got those definitions of repeating and terminating. So repeating decimal is something like 0 0.66666 repeating, also known as 0 0.6. Six repeating. A repeating decimal also can look like. Notice how the 3 5 part of that repeats? It can also be written as 0 0.235. It doesn't matter if the whole decimal repeats. If the last part repeats, it's a repeating decimal. So, what is a terminating decimal? So, a terminating decimal is any decimal that ends. 0 0.25 is a terminating decimal. It's only two decimal places. 0 0.125. Any decimal that doesn't go on forever is considered a terminating decimal. If I were to look at a few quick examples of an irrational number, the one that always comes to mind first is pi. Pi is 3.141592, and so on and so on. Pi never ends. It also doesn't repeat. That makes it an irrational number. Another example of an irrational number is the third root of 7. If you evaluate this on your calculator, you end up with 1.912931183, and then it keeps on going. Doesn't repeat, doesn't terminate, it's an irrational number. So one thing to keep in mind is most of our calculators have a limit of how many decimals they will show. For the purposes of this lesson, if you look at your screen of your calculator and you don't see any repeats, and it fills the entire screen so it doesn't terminate, we're going to have to make the assumption that it's an irrational number. Let's finish this off by looking at this last set of questions. Is each number rational or is it irrational? We'll go through a bunch of numbers and we'll go through the reason why it's one or the other. This question, well, that's definitely rational. Why? It can be written as a fraction. In fact, it's already written as a fraction. That means it cannot be irrational. B, square root of 14. Now, I can't tell just by looking at this one whether it's rational or irrational, so I'm actually going to pull out my calculator. When I pull out my calculator, and I figure out the square root of 14. I've got a long decimal there. When I look at it, I'm not seeing any repeating parts. It doesn't appear to end because it fills up my calculator. I'm going to have to list this one as irrational. Next, the third root of 8 over 27. Same thing again. I'm going to pull up my calculator. Let's do the uh, 8 divided. Let's do that 8 divided by 27 first. I'm not done yet. I still have to do the third root of that decimal. Second function, my x root y button, and my index is 3. We end up with 0 0.666, and that keeps on going until we get a 6, 7. I want you to recognize, I want you to recognize that that 7 is on the very end because the calculator rounded it up. That's actually 0 0.6 repeating. That's a rational number. While the decimal doesn't terminate, in other words, it doesn't end, it does repeat. That makes it a rational number.
Now, the truth of the matter is, there really aren't a ton of irrational numbers. There's a lot more rational numbers, but it is an important one to look at.